Hello and welcome to We Played This. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I am uh, starting a, a, a kind of irregular series, let's say, which I'm going to be calling Adventures in Gaming. And we're starting it off with uh, a, a game that I just found on Steam, randomly. Uh, and I haven't played it, I just loaded it up. It's called Lovely Weather We're Having. I'm not 100% I'm not sure about what it's about. I think it said something like it's a walking simulator and so on. Uh, it's something to do with your weather outside. It is very washed out. I was just outside moments ago. It did not seem quite so bright. But that said... La, la. What la, the... La. Oh, wow. La, la, la. That's not la, annoying at all. La, I definitely la, plant la, those la, plants la, around my house. La, 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 la. la, la, la. Uh, of course, um, Afro Puffs... Uh, large boy, that's that's my name, Afro Puffs Large Boy. My parents named me that, and I've decided to style myself after my name. And uh, the dog, uh, Purple, Purple is the name of my dog. It's not a creative, not a particularly creative name. Can I can I do anything with this letterbox? No. We're going for a walk uh, in the washed out sunshine of. Ooh, ah, can I can I ride this bike? Oh shit, no! I've thrown my bike. I've no, I can't use it, but I can play it like a bass drum. Dropping the mad beats. Um, la, la, wait a sec, la, la, I've got la. it. Here we go. Oh shit, I've kicked it clear through the wall. It's like the tenth time that's happened this week. Mis Mr. Johnson? Mr. Johnson? Hey, I've I kicked my bike through the wall again. Um, could you just like, I don't know, could you... Could you pass it back over, please, Mr. Johnson? No, go get screwed there, Afro Puffs large boy. Mr. Johnson, uh, don't be like that. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> God, Mr. Johnson is a, is a real prick. Come on, Purple, let's go out the front gate. Yeah, so, my weather, it's not... The idea of this game, apparently, is that it tunes into the local weather. Now, how it knows what my local weather is, I don't really want to ask. Um, I suspect some sort of worm virus, much like the one that Lex Luthor used. Uh, it might have actually been Richard Pryor, whoever Richard Pryor's character was. And I think it was Superman 2. He created that worm virus. It would, like, steal all the one cents and two cents at the end of transactions because no one would ever notice it. But because there were, like, billions of transactions every day uh, back in the 80s, um, he, was, he was, like, a multi squillionaire and, and then Lex Luthor used all of the money... Uh, to basically just buy a ton of kryptonite. I actually don't know what happened. I just remember that, that feature of him stealing stuff. Um, I suspect that's what's happening, and that's how they know what my local weather is. They use some sort of worm virus to steal all the one and two cent coins from my Steam transactions. And if they saw how many skins and stuff, and keys and stuff I was buying for CSGO, they'd make himself a hell of a lot of money doing that. So, you know. But either way, it's meant to kind of... Yeah, they dog turds. They don't make noises. Ooh, that does. Come here. Come here. Um, it's meant to kind of tune into your local weather, and then and then it affects the game somehow. But my weather is not like this. It's not like... Oh, sh Sorry. Come, purple. It's safe. It, it doesn't hurt that much to drop down here. It's noisy, though. Can I kick this? No. Apparently, like, enter um, and space meant to do stuff, but they haven't done anything yet. It's really not... I'm not going back in there again. That sucks. Hey, there's a TV with legs right here. Hello? You know the drill. You question, chatbot answers. What is it? Um, oh man, I love chatbots. Uh, who created you? I was expecting this conversation to be a little bit... a bit less invasive. How would you like it if I, chatbot, started digging around in your past? Come to think of it, I've got all the files on you right here in my mainframe. Okay. Chatbot. Chatbot. Well, that was a short conversation. Chatbot is a surly son of a bitch. Oops. No one saw that, did they? That's fine. Oh, wait. Can I push this onto Chatbot? <clears throat> Cop this, Chatbot. Oh, so close. Dodged it at the last second. All right, Chatbot, let's start this again. What is on your mind this evening? I, Chatbot, will research, for, research it for you. How do I get this dog to stop following me? Is there really a monster in West Hills? I guess we're in West Hills. Based on my data pattern accumulation, the, that query yields inconclusive results. Try broadening your search terms. Thank you. 
thank you. Uh, thank you there, chatbot. That's awesome of you for uh, not helping me at all. What's this thing? I've got a dancing fever in my bones. Let's cha-cha. Cha-cha is more of an afternoon dance. Ask me some other time. It, it kind of is the afternoon. I don't know... I don't know really what this weather is. It's it's washed out. It's hazy. It's it's like the most perfect clear day outside at, at my place at the moment. It's kind of, you know, late afternoon. We've got daylight saving, so it's still super bright and it's just beautiful weather outside i just took the dog for a walk actually in reality and um and it's nice it's really nice there's a there's a wind there's like a breeze not super super hard heavy wind or anything like that but it's it's quite nice it's like kind of cooling and stuff being australia of course it is uh you know spring at the moment almost heading into summer i'm nostalgic for things you know nostalgia's not just for the teens anymore <laughs> yeah witty okay um you don't mind if I just walk away from you now, do you? Push some trees over with my face. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Holy shit, that one's got a face. Hard to see in these kind of conditions. Suppose I've seen it all at this point anyway. What? I don't know. I'm not convinced that it actually is tuned into my weather. Because it's not like this where I am. It's not hazy at all. It's beautiful and clear and sunny and nice and just kicked an orange ball and then a little blue one as well and they made a big deep sound too I don't like I think the little ones like this should make little sounds like bing and these ones should make like a dang and then the big ones like big old balls like this guy he should and this one over here they should make like boom sounds that makes more sense to me can I push this tree over no can I talk to it no oh shit see that's the sort of sound that the little ones should make what the hell is this can I talk to it? Listen, that dog is really making me sweat. Uh, mess with me and you'll get it. I never mess. You know, I wanted the ant village to be called Minding Your Own Business Village, but I was outvoted. It's a bit of a mouthful, if I'm completely honest. I gotta say, um, can I talk to this guy again? You know, ants don't live all that long. This could be my last sunset. Oh, so it thinks it's sunset. I get you. It's like meant to be like a, a kind of dusk, but it doesn't realize that I'm. it's daylight savings where I am. And as a result, it's probably going to be bright for at least the next three hours. Uh, and the shadows are really not that long at the moment. I have a feeling you'll live a long time. Uh, we should all live with that attitude, maybe, because it's best if we dwell on the fact that we're going to die soon. Oh, print that on a mug and it'll... S and sell it at the gift shop, you'll make squillions. Meanwhile, the sun's in my eyes. It's not actually, you're looking in the opposite direction. Dingus. Tries to be smart with me and stuff, but it's just a stupid little ant, really, when it comes down to it. I really want to push these big pom-pom trees over. Holy crap, now that, purple, purple, that is one hell of a dog turd right there. And if you ever lay one like that in the front yard, um, I'm gonna need to get like a front end loader to move it out and put it in uh, Mr. Johnson's yard as well with my push bike because screw that guy hey, did, you hear, did you hear how rude he was to me earlier? Um, he told me to go fuck myself and there's one thing that Afro Puff's large boy will not stand for and that is being told to go fuck himself so I am in fact I'm going to march right around to Mr. Johnson's house is this it? no this is not Mr. Johnson's house Mr. Johnson's house is up here a bit further um, oh shit can I get in there and kick the crap out of all those balls? I'm coming in. I'm finding a way. How do I... How do I get in there? Is there a way in? There's no way in. But look at them. They need a good kick. And look at all those beautiful things to kick. Whoa. Purple. Purple. Where's purple going? There it's purple. Check this out. Can you imagine the dog that laid this turd? It's like... Three turds stacked on top of each other sideways. Now that is some... That is some professional uh, turtilation. I just made up the word turtilation and I'm not, I'm not uh, unhappy about it. Hey, it's, uh, it's, it's old Crazy Lizzie that sits by the wall. What's up, Crazy Lizzie? Hey. <laughs> hey. Hi. Um, she's nuts. She's nuts, purple. Don't, t don't make eye contact with Crazy Lizzie who sits by the wall. He hasn't, like, let's just have a look. 
We'll just hold on, just creep over. Look, she hasn't actually done her hair ever, ever. Never done her hair. And plus, I mean, I'm I'm Afro Puff's large boy. Imagine what she is. She's like three times the size of me. She's like an Amazon. Crazy Lizzie that sits by the wall is like an Amazon. And unfortunately, um, she also invin invented the invisible wall and stuck it right here in the way. I mean. What's a guy supposed to do? Lizzie? Lizzie, I need to have a word with you. Um, fog. Fog rules. I don't think it's going to work. I don't think... I don't think we're actually going to be able to get her to remove the invisible wall. Um, I just, wa I just walked into a sideways dog turd as well. And... As, Im as impressive as it is for a dog to kind of shoot one out like that... Um, I'm not saying, I'm not judging or anything, but purple, you could never do that. Um, it's not the sort of thing you really want to walk into, especially on a summer's evening like this, after it's been baking in the sun all day long. Um, because if you break the skin of one of those, uh, you're not in for a good time. Alright, I think we're home again. Yeah, we are. Um, and Mr. Johnson has not returned my bike. What an a-hole. Let's go cruising over this way a bit further, because I don't really think we explored this side of things um, as well as we could. Is there any way I can actually... No, I can't actually go in there. Come on, purple, don't... You're just slowing me down at the moment. What's this? Nothing, I can't do anything with that. Or that. Uh, or that one. Where did, where haven't I been? Did I go this way? I think I did like a full lap. Um, of course, this is where uh, the Igloo family lives. Uh, I don't know why they're called the Igloo family, seeing as they live inside basically snowmen. But they're called the Igloo family nonetheless. And interestingly, it's actually, uh, it's kind of like, you know when people drive around in trucks and they're like plumbers and they have like a giant tap on the top of their van, I'm talking to you purple, uh, to say, yeah, hey, I'm a plumber, right, the Igloo family actually sells cocaine, and they built their houses as kind of a, a really subtle message to say, if you want to buy some snow, uh, come here. The other thing they also sell is uh, snow, the, the rapper from the, the 90s who, who did that song, Informer. They sell him, but he doesn't sell very well these days, so... He mostly just kind of lives in the basement and um, occasionally you just hear muffled sounds of someone saying, I lick your bum bum now. Which is disturbing and I can understand why they would sell just copious amounts of cocaine and also use copious amounts of cocaine. Um, one, you know, to escape the reality that the rapper Snow from the 90s lives in your basement. And two, to perhaps buy a better, a better future for yourselves. So I don't really judge the Igloo family who live in, in snowmen. What's going on? Tomorrow's going to rule, vaguely. I can just tell. How can something vaguely rule? Huh? Mr. Potato Head? With the dog body? Huh? Tight-lipped as always, I see. That guy, up here, this guy up here, um, actually, surprisingly, and... I didn't know about this until recently, but he invented tweezers. Can you believe it? He invented tweezers. That's a guy, I mean, he's basically famous. He's the guy who invented tweezers, Purple. What have you invented? Nothing. You've invented nothing. And as a result, I get to push you around um, as much as I want. And you don't care. You don't care at all. Do you? No, you don't. Because you have no spine. You're spineless. That was a bit cruel. I feel bad. Oh, shit. I've fallen in the milk. I've fallen in the milk, and um, it's Patrick from SpongeBob SquarePants. He might save me. It's nearly night. Ready for tonight's party? Uh, how do you tell when one party ends and another begins? The party don't stop till the cops show up. Ah, woo! But for clerical reasons, each new day of partying begins at 1pm. Thanks, Patrick. You crazy bastard. 
I mean, I don't mind falling in the milk, but it's the fact that the bottom of the milk pond is actually made of broken glass that makes it particularly um, worrying. Especially when the milk is off and you're liable to get an infection if you cut your feet up and you're walking around in a, in a milk lake. But, you know what? You only live once. And if you walk around a milk lake with broken glass at the bottom of it, that once that you live will be quite a short time indeed. Let's go for a wander down here. Stick to the path. Um, oh, uh-oh. Uh, Crazy Lizzie's been here. She has once again placed her invisible wall, a psychological barrier more than a physical one, right there. And you can't walk there. Purple, where are you? Purple. Purple. Get your ass down here. Come on, let's go. Oops, I've, I've fallen into the into the milk. Um, and now I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the milk. And I can't get out. And I can't get up there. What's over here? Well, tell you what though, I can really leg it in milk. It's nothing... Nothing like an incredibly sharp pain in the sole of one's foot to make it make you just kind of set a land speed record or a milk speed record as the case may be. What's going on Whaley? Whaley has nothing to say to me. Whaley, I'm having trouble seeing lately. You have salt water in your eyes. You need glasses. I've got three eyes, bub. What kind of optometrist is going to whip up a special pair of glasses for me? What am I supposed to do? Wear a pair of glasses and a monocle? Well that seems like a reasonable solution, really, when you think about it. I mean you're making a joke, but why not? I mean Sure, okay, so I think you've got low self-esteem for a start, because if you pay an optometrist to make you special glasses, they will. You know, it's not like they've got something against people with three eyes. In fact, I reckon if you had three eyes, you'd be uh, the best customer that an optometrist could ever have, really, when you think about it. So, firstly, you need to kind of have a bit more self-worth. And secondly, why not a pair of glasses and a monocle? It would work. So, I don't know what your joke is here, exactly, Whaley. Um, but, yeah, get over yourself, bud. In fact, you know what? I've got something else to say to you. Uh, this is my favourite kind of weather. Frog. I mean, fog. Sorry, thinking about frogs again. Look, I don't know where it gets the idea that it's actually foggy uh, where I live. It's There's literally no fog at all. And once again, we run into Crazy Lizzie's Invisible Barrier. She's such, she's such a, such a pain in the ass. She is really the bane of my existence. And if it wasn't for that, that one crazy night, uh, that sticky hot summer f four years ago, um, when we made sweet, sweet love amongst the purple boopy balls, uh, and it was just, all you could hear was this all night long. And uh, the igloo, igloo family came out and just started doing lines of cocaine off Crazy Lizzie's ass crack. Um, if it wasn't for that night, uh, I probably wouldn't be able to call myself a man at all. So, even though she's putting up all these invisible barriers, Crazy Lizzie gets a break, in my opinion. Uh, and also, um, that was pretty hot that night. And I'm not talking about the weather, bud. Ho ho! What can I help you learn about today? You know what? I've been meaning to search for mud. Mud is everywhere. No, mud is somewhere between dirt and water. It is the worst, and everyone thinks that except Party Pig, who is made of mud. I think that might have been the entry on Urban Dictionary, which is, of course, something that any respectable person should not trust. What's going on, uh, Gelato Head? Broom. Broom. Nice talking to you as always, <laughs> gelato head. Wow. Alright. Ah, oh, it's actually a physical wall. It's just there. Shall we do one last lap through the, the cornfields? I think we should. Oh, that's the, ho that's the most horrible sound I've ever heard in my life. Thank you for putting that in there, game designer. And I think we might leave it there. Adventures in gaming. We've had an adventure. We've spoken to the town's folk here uh, in this foggy, foggy land. Game mechanic which is meant to tune into your actual weather. Doesn't work. Doesn't work at all. Not foggy. It's bright and sunny and lovely where I'm at at the moment. But, you know, 
when you're having such a whoopee time with your dog purple, uh, and you're not even facing the screen, you don't really mind these sorts of things. This is on Steam. I don't know whether you want to get it or not. I don't know whether I wanted to get it or not, but I did, and I played it. And, for the most part, it was kind of what I expected it to be. So, until next time, you've been watching Adventures in Gaming on We Played This. My name is FG Zilla. If you liked the video, click like and subscribe. Leave a comment of some kind telling me just whatever you want. If you've got something you want to get off your chest, um, treat me like Crazy Lizzie. I'll listen. I'll make incomprehensible comments in response. And I will see you all next time. Peace out, people.